boys are not YouTube, what is good, y'all boys? Today we have another video. Online racism is getting out of hand by O Measy. Let's get to it. In 2024, people are more diverse than ever. People are coming from different backgrounds, ethnicities, races, and all these things coming together to be on one singular internet. Now, the last thing we want to do is disrespect people, whether it be unintentional or intentional, because we have to connect with each other and be next to each other on this here great internet. We do not want to get off any nasty behaviors. But there's this ongoing trend on the internet that I like to classify as racism for clicks that for the life of me I just don't understand why it exists now we've all seen what I've been talking about before it's those people that do know about what is or is not racist and they have other people who don't know say racist things or those people that do know the things they are saying or are doing is racist and just use it as some sort of engagement or rage bait or potentially those from adjacent communities or ethnic backgrounds cultures or whatever that may not understand the true severity or don't care because they can always just get underneath the bridge by saying it's okay Hey, I'm Haitian or I'm X, Y, and Z. Yo, chat, real question right now. Do y'all think black people can be racist? I personally do. Let me know what y'all think. I personally do. Here's, here's why. In America, it's believed black people can't be racist because people think that white people are the only pe racist people in the world since they live in America. So anybody can be racist, bro. I feel like racist jokes and actual racism are two different things. And I feel like racist jokes are okay as long as everybody thinks it's funny. But racism is bad. That's how I feel about things, bro. Now, I know you've all seen things like this happen. Say it after me. Repeat after me. Okay. Nigga, please. Nigga, <laughs> please. No. Ain't no way she said that. She smiled too. Before you get in this comment section and say, a word is a word, Omar, who really cares? Stop. That's not what this is about right here. Now, it's clear that this woman is a white woman, and it became clear later on that she was of Russian origin or something like that. She's not really from the country, so she doesn't know the magnitude of the word. However, Kai Sinat in this example does specifically know who this person is, what the word nah, means. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. She for sure knew. Like, she smiled before she said it. She for sure knew. I ain't gonna lie. Don't give her that excuse. And what it can do. And it's kind of weird being in front of this room full of white guys who also know the severity of the word having them snicker and giggle about it now they all could be russian for all i know but ultimately we know what's being done here we know that racism against black people the word n is being used to gain some sort of clicks or traction or views and speaking of causing that he has brought on one of the biggest perpetrators of this specific type of act you know him you love him i'm talking about ray if you don't know and i'll probably have this story wrong but kai Sinet met this friend named ray over in an asian country and decided to take him underneath his wing and it became abundantly clear that ray was just totally immersed into american culture hey, you gonna crash out ray you, drive? you gonna crash out ray? Ah! That's kind of corny, bro. I'm gonna be real. Ray cool though. Some of this kind of corny though. Like, what, what the hell is this? Oh wait, y'all the same height. I knew you Ray's taller. Y'all the same height. He's stronger, Ray. Wow. Y'all the same height. Oh yeah, cause you yeah, it was stuck at the middle. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Who y'all call Bomba Clap Monkey? Get a Bomba Clap. Fuck yeah. But it became ever so clear to me that a lot of the situations in which Ray or maybe even his classmates were put in, they really don't even understand the context or severity of what they're saying. But it seemed like streamer Kai Sinet does. Hey. What's up, my oh, yeah, man. Oh, 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 it's me. Oh, He's just oh, like, yo, he you just said it. Say sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. Just say sorry. Say sorry to them. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to give Kai any indictment here because I don't think that he thought he would say that is a part of his vocabulary and it's a conversation for a different day about who can and who should i ain't no race at nigga. what the hell yo chat another question though do you think like do you think any other race besides black people can say like nigga like ob obviously like white people can't say it but like other races like asians or hispanics do y'all think it's okay for them to say nigga should and who shouldn't be saying the word which we'll probably have later on and i would like to chalk that this wasn't off ray that was somebody else oh okay that's kind of racist. I, I, I thought that, that that looked like Ray. I'm not going to lie. They kind of, they kind of look the same. Like, it's like a one-off situation, but it's becoming abundantly clear that ever since Ray has come over to the United States or has hung out with some of the AMP guys or whoever in America, that this word has just become part of his everyday vocabulary. It's a bitch. <laughs> she got five. It's a bitch-ass nigga. Damn. <laughs> bitch. 
You know your bitch, you know your bitch on us, right? And again, maybe he's learned a little bit more since he's moved over here, but I think that Ray believes that this is just a part of normal American slang, vernacular, or whatever's going on. This is what the community that he is being around has taught him. I don't have any indictments on Ray. It's more so about the people around him who know what this is doing for the perception of Ray to certain people, etc., etc. They know that this word is a word that he should not be saying, but coaxing him into it or continuing to not acknowledge the fact that, hey, Ray, you should what? not be using these words. No, I ain't gonna lie. Run that shit back. I was not paying attention. To certain people, et cetera, et cetera. They know that this word is a word that he should not be saying, but coaxing him into it or continuing to not acknowledge the fact that, hey, Ray, you should not be using these words, educating him on what this means, is doing him a disservice if he goes out there into a place and a space in which he should not be using the word. And I know that they've had some sort of conversation because he's getting to the point where he's begging to say the word. Ray, you said nigga! I want to. You want to? Yeah. Fuck you, me, you want to. I want to, bro. Honestly, I think that these people should be taking the black boy max approach in this regard when people say the word nigga around them that think it's just a part of their culture or feel like this is just something that they can say because they're in these environments honestly though let's be real yo any black person tries to get their uh white or like other race racial friends to say the n-word as a joke the reason why we do it is because we know that they ain't gonna say it i feel like that's not as bad as the thing is he making it out to be i feel like he's kind of nitpicking but i mean shit i don't know max more mature than kai no he no you're not like i i won't say he's more mature than kai i feel like to be a streamer you kind of have to be childish a little bit even i'm childish but i mean i don't know bro maybe i'm just yapping black boy max quickly shut down somebody who was in his room that was of asian descent saying it around him and his people because they thought that it was cool go get some money this is different though ray and kai are friends he just met this hoe that's a little bit different of a situation i'm often a lot of you stop hating on me oh, look at your fucking bank oh, account oh, is there oh, money in there <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> now if you remember correctly that girl got like that that's crazy that's crazy completely kicked out of phase house all that stuff but again mac uh, let me chill like that and i don't believe that she's as ignorant as ray is in these situations so i'm glad that they handled that the way that they handled that but we really got to start taking a deeper look at the people that know what these words are know the severity of them but task those that don't know what these words are and don't know what the severity is and have them say it we can call it internet culture all we want in this video but that isn't right now we've got to move on to the main culprits in this conversation those that are probably bigger perpetrators than the people that we previously talked about is those that do know the severity of these words do know the severity of their statements but then decide to continue to go on with the racist or xenophobic actions because they know it's some sort of engagement bait some of the nastiest culprits are the people that delve out these passes you know what you're doing in these conversations and i really don't even have to touch on it it's honestly disgusting work what you're doing especially when you have these people who are willing to do anything for clout and they take whatever you're giving them because you have the appearance of being cool or whatever the case may be and they take it to heart and use it i think that those people on both sides should be reprimanded but i hate to see stuff like this happen Two, no. one. Are <laughs> now why are we what celebrating somebody black giving somebody not black the n-word pass to go ahead and say the word nigga as if it's some revolutionary freeing experience and yes you saw that right the main perpetrator of things like this is sneeko now the reason why sneeko feels like he can delve out or be the delegator of who says the word because sneeko's like part black he's part haitian we can even make an argument shit like you think nah i ain't gonna say that or not is because he is half Filipino and the other portion is either Haitian or some sort of North African or something like that, which technically makes him half black. He's a mixed person. However, this is where I have to educate a little bit. From my understanding and what I know to be true, to be honest with you, is that the word nigga is a word that has been used long as time has been started for black people. But yeah, using screw it, neon, I just don't take anything that neon does seriously no more, bro. Or claiming That's it for me. some Neon's sort of weird. term of endearment or camaraderie or something that a friend will call a friend is something that is unique to African Americans, meaning Africans who became slaves in America and who lived through American chattel slavery, emancipation, reconstruction, the civil rights movement, all those things. It was about the 1960s, 70s, 80s when it started being a term of endearment and a claiming back of those words. Why I say that is because no other culture or ethnic background for all these other groups of black people did any sort of work to reclaiming the word for anything positive. If you ask the grandparents 
grandparents of the Haitian generation, if you ask the grandparents of the African generation, none of them look at the word nigga as some sort of term of endearment. That is a very much no-no word. But because these kids exactly. have become Americanized and modernized, they feel as if it's okay for them to delve out the word nigga any way they see fit because they're black. And so you have Sneeko sitting around either dishing out N-word passes or letting it fly by people who he knows shouldn't be able to say it, but because he is black, he is the one who gets to dish out and delegate who gets to say the word. What you been up to? I don't know. Kind of just focus on money. All right, I'm, I'm going to be real. If you're part black, I feel like you shouldn't be able to give passes, bro. Only the dark niggas can give passes. Like, if I'm just being real, that's just like no way in no way you should be allowed to give out a pass if you're like part black. That's crazy. Money and stuff right now. Not as much just like... Being black can't be a token to say the N word, bro. Nigga in a video. And what the? 20 million views. But oh, what the hell? Farm black people for clout. Respect. So if you want to make six figures, just say nigga once a day. She did nothing wrong. Nigga, what she what made the it hell? How is that allowed? Like a <laughs> joke on TikTok? Nigga, nigga. How much? Yo, Twitch, he was half black. Whoever said that. Just so I don't get banned. I didn't know he was going to say that. How many Instagram videos? How many videos do we see of black girls and of like Spanish girls making fun of white girls all day long? Girls get on Instagram and then start twerking and talking about dancing to sexy red, which has more of a net negative. She said nigga, so what? Well, what Sneeko doesn't understand and the other people who cling on to their half black identity don't really understand in this conversation is that when you allow these things to fly, you create this super slippery slope of people doing stupid things like Master Uguay who claimed to be only a part black in order to say the word. Guys, it was just a word. All I or any of these other racially ambiguous people using that the word to shit. kind of rage farm and engagement bait anybody else by saying the word or threatening to say the word and then having to do weeks and months of backflips to convince people, hey, hey, I'm black so I can say it even though I don't look back trying to be all cutesy and whatnot. What's up, my nigga? Oh. Say what's up, my niggas. Yo, what's up, my niggas? Oh. 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 Like, look at how nasty this imagery is by putting up Cinna is half black and fuck in big bold letters and playing a soundboard or chris mouthing the words or saying the words as soon as aim says it it's using racism to get people enraged and engaged in conversation and i'm trying to figure out why are we here at this place in space and today in comedy like why are we getting the hard r tatted on us because we're low-key racially ambiguous and nobody can really verify so we can just yeah, that's weird as fuck. This is weird as fuck. What the hell? Just go ahead and say the word. And what I mean by create the slippery slope is now because you've unleashed the beast, gave out all these n-word passes, told I this person like that person it was okay. Now you have all these other legitimately non-black, whether you have or whole people saying these words any and everywhere because hey, it's okay. Blueface and Sneeko gave me an n-word pass. You probably haven't had food in six days. You Ow! Stop! You just scratched the fuck out of me, nigga. Like it almost even sounds. Who is that? They don't even sound right. It sounds forced when you say things like this. It doesn't even sound like you genuinely mean it in the way that it has. Y'all remember, remember that uh, one lady? She said nigga on TikTok. She started like a whole, like uh, her whole content cre uh, creation career from saying nigga and shit. Y'all remember that? That was crazy. It's she intention. fell off though. Like she fell off now though. Or meaning in today's society for black people to yeah, black people. Run, and don't get me wrong. About. This doesn't just exist between people that are trying to attack or be mean or negative towards black people. It also exists with black people, white people, and other races or ethnic backgrounds as a whole. Like when I show speed was at a soccer game and did this to an Asian man. Why you got an Argentina, bro? Uh, konichiwa. Konichiwa. No, no, Chinese. Chinese. Konichiwa. Argentina. Chinese. What the fuck? This nigga speed though, like speed don't give a fuck at all. Trust me, with the rise of international and national mixes and flavors, you know, people crossing boundaries and borders, the xenophobia is also at an all time high. Like some of their stances make zero sense as to what's actually being talked about, like playing the sport versus just getting their shit off. Almost lost to some Africans. <laughs> and the king had to say, we almost lost to the, the Ahi Ahi tribe. This is crazy. <laughs> Ain't no way LeBron said that shit, bro. The IE IE tribe is crazy. And it's crazy because you would think that in a day like this where people have decided to come together and be tied in with each other's cultures that we would be tolerant of each other's differences and respect those and then be able to work towards some sort of common goals and not hurt each other. But no, for whatever reason, we still go out here and we still perpetuate the same sorts of nonsense or intolerance or whatever the case may be. And maybe it's just for the views, the clicks, the engagement. But ultimately, this stuff can be totally 
detrimental and can even cost you your career like it did Ryan Garcia. Fuck you and f Muslims that fucking little kids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Twitch, we do not condone with this. Why did you put these subtitles up, Omar? What the hell? You're going to regret saying all of this. When you guess what? Up, guess right? what? I will never be touched because I'm with God. I'm with Jesus. Now, since that drunken tirade went up on we the internet by that, Ryan Twitch. Garcia, he has been expelled from the WBC. And rightfully so. There's no need to be Islamophobic or racist or whatever you want to say to all the actions that he said because I didn't get through all of it. He said some pretty disgusting things. And also, a similar situation happened with that one yeah, girl. who this said is the girl I was talking about, yeah. The N-word while she was making a cake and then tried to grift into the right wing sphere. But nobody took her seriously because because they found out that she had potentially had a black baby and the right wingers wouldn't even really accept her. Look. Are you serious she had a black baby? Oh, it all makes sense now, bro. She's just racist. Yeah, I mean, uh, a nigga done did it wrong, then left her, you feel me? All of that, you feel me? Another fatherless, fatherless child, and now she racist and shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. She did give me energy. She did give me I like black dick energy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy, bro. What the hell? I'm not trying to be totally PC here when we have these conversations or do I even think cancel culture is truly real? So but she did all that bullshit. She ruined her digital footprint. We'll never have a job ever again for all for nothing, bro. That's crazy. Honestly, this is just blatant racism without any real sorts of jokes in here. This is getting people riled up and engaging them into what this what she's doing conversation nowadays. Let's so check up get more clicks and views. And this is also using people who don't doing? understand what's really going on, making them say something STD, to get the them hell? in a tissy about it on the internet honestly it's really low-hanging fruit i've heard race-based jokes before don't think that they can't be done but there has to be that extra step that other portion of what i just said race-based joke not just getting somebody to say a racial epithet and then turning and smiling and laughing at it that's really low brow and no this isn't infringing on anybody's first amendment rights or freedom of speech because that's not what this is freedom Fuck of speech does not extend to these private up, platforms they can take actions and punishments on you when you do do something that's totally out of pocket like this i don't think that everybody should just be running running around saying these things because it diminishes the history of what these people went went through in order to get to the place that they are. But I don't know. I've seen a rise of the race-based comedy. Using racism for clicks is disgusting to me. Yesterday when this news Shit, okay. Interesting video by Omizi. Interesting video by Omizi. That's a good pass. I'm not gonna lie, bro, pretty. All right, let me check what uh, Lily Itis is doing now. I'm interested. Let me check on Twitter. I wanna see if she's still relevant because damn, nigga. She has a black baby, and she was over here talking all that shit about black people. Yeah, we all know what happened there. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, let me check the video real quick. Let me check for her at. Oh, her account got Different suspended. Different backgrounds, ethnicity. Her account got suspended. She must have said some wild shit. Oh, yeah, she's cooked. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Check up. Yo, her. Yo. Any of her close friends and family check up on her, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if she. she I don't know if she's still with us now. Dang. I ain't gonna lie, man. Shit, that's crazy.